There was a study published in Nature Medicine, which showed Pfizer's mRNA vaccine, uh, which, of course, was the first uh, vaccine approved in the United States for use against COVID-19, apparently neutralized three variants of the COVID-19 virus. That is the B117 strain that was first identified in the UK. We spoke about this yesterday with Mark Elaine uh, Derry, the uh, epidemiologist from uh, Louisiana. And two new uh, variants that are confirmed in South Africa, which are the more scary ones. Um, the, the, the B117, it's also scary insofar as that it's been predicted that it will be the dominant strain in this country by the end of March. And it, it, um, it's far more transmittable. 40 to 65 percent more transmittable than the what they call the wild uh, one that we have currently in this country that is dominant. The South African ones are uh, also in um, uh, more transmittable, but um, they uh, they can infect younger people. They can also uh, uh, cause more serious uh, health effects. So. Um, they tested a bunch of uh, mutations in the United uh, Kingdom and in South Africa, and um, they found that the Pfizer vaccine neutralizes uh, these variants, which is good news. And um, one would suspect, although there is no, obviously there's no data on this at this point, that the Moderna one might also, because it is uh, a similar technology in terms of mRNA, so uh, we will we will keep our eyes out at that. The um, South Africans found that the AstraZeneca vaccine did not address their specific strain that is uh, that is dominant in South Africa at the moment. And so they're, they're not inoculating people with that because they don't want people going around thinking they're vaccinated and they're not protected against uh, a dominant strain in or, you know, a very prevalent strain. 